Well, one of the really neat things we have in the theater are our pit lifts, and I'm standing on the main lift. And uh, this, so this is the main lift. Back here is the stage, and they're set up to do their performance this evening. Orchestra Iowa is their homecoming performance. And these lifts will be up at stage level, but we need to move them down to audience level this morning so that we can do some work. And so this is the organ lift where the word literature will be. And this is the pennant that can, uh, operates these lifts. And you can see it a little bit here. So I'm getting ready to move the, the lifts down. And they move independently of each other. Like if we want to take just the organ lift down and push that button. And you can hear the gentle whine of the motors. This isn't hydraulic, this is all mechanical. We can take this organ lift down to where it's at the seating level. You can see it to start to fall away. And if I jump down here, you start to see what's behind the lifts. We can take this right down to right there. Maybe I went just a little too far. I'll bring it up just a little bit. Okay. So now we're standing on the organ lift, and the main lift is right there. So we can switch this pennant to where it goes to the main lift. And then we'll start to bring that one down as well. So that's how the lifts operate. Well, it's Monday, November 26th, and the stagehands are busy doing what they call a load-in. And what that is is uh, that we're going to have a performance of the Nutcracker, I think, by the Quad Cities Ballet here this coming weekend. And so they're getting set up to do that. So while they're busy doing their load-in, I thought we would take a walk up the spiral staircase up to the rigging platforms up above where I can show you the winches and uh, things like that. Smitty, I'm going to put you on YouTube. This is the operator's gallery. Tell us how this works. It takes lots of muscle, right? Lots of muscle. And you got it. Lots of weights. You got it. Okay, so every load out on these battens is counterweighted with twice the weight? Right. Over here, because it's a double purchase system, right? Right. Okay. All right. So that's the operator's gallery. So Smitty's moving a load. Got it weighted perfect. When he gets it in position, he takes and put a, puts a brake on. Right there. Stopping towards the stop, uh, top of the spiral staircase, you get a picture of the four-stage reflector that's hanging below the storage winch. And we'll take a look at that next. Now we're up above a rigging platform, above the stage, and you really have to be careful up here because there's holes in the floor that go right down to the deck about 60 feet below. And they have to be here. They, they've just got to be here because we've got this storage winch that actually picks up that reflector that I just showed you below and then it's on little train tracks that move out to an area where then it can drop the reflector all the way down to the stage floor that we see way down below. So there's no way that we can fill these holes in. So you've really got to have your wits about you as you walk about up here to make sure that you don't step in a hole and bust an ankle. But this is the reflector storage winch up in the attic and it's about 35 feet long and its job is to pick up the reflector and store it against the west wall of the theater. Right now we are on the... Ch Chad, what did you say this was? This is the fly rail load level. Fly, fly rail load level. He's got Sparky behind him and they're adding... This is where we, we call add the, steel the bricks For the double purchase system, so for everything we put on the floor 
say if it weighs 500 pounds down there, we have to put 1,000 pounds on the arbors. On the arbors. So that's um, what they're doing right now is adding weight to new scenes from the ballet. And this arbor has... So Chad's there moving a load on the battens. And I've walked to the end of that gallery. And now we're on the house side or the auditorium side of the proscenium. And there's another platform up here that's got reflector winches. There's actually two of them. Here's one and here's another one. And so there's a total of 10 cables that will pick up the reflector and put it into position above the, uh, not actually above the stage, it's actually above the house or above the orchestra pit. And this is a really congested area here because there's these rods all over the place that hold up the ceiling down below. And I have great admiration from the, for the riggers and the ironworkers that built this platform because they had to work around all of these cables, put this all in place without removing these cables. So there's actually two reflector winches. This is the center speaker winch. And this is the north line array speaker winch. And there's another one down at the other end of the platform that does the same thing. So there are just all kinds of things up on this front of house rigging platform. Several months ago I did a video on the old catwalk system and so now we're on a new catwalk. It is much improved, much more stable and kind of fun really. Although it is kind of steep in places, this is probably about a 20 degree, 25 degree angle down. It's got a non-slip surface on it. And so we're going to go through this door right here that goes to the dome area. So if you've ever been to the Paramount and you've looked up high and seen the arches and wondered if you could get up there, well yes you can. And when you do this is what you see. This is the balcony seating. The theatrical lights that are in place over there. The big plaster medallion that is the uh, HVAC register as well. So back behind is our new catwalk that goes through this area. And this device right here is a beam detector. So if there's smoke, it detects that smoke and will set off the fire alarm. So you don't want to stop in front of that beam detector or you set off the fire alarm and the fire trucks come. And then they say, who did that? Another one right there. On this side of the catwalk, we've got theatrical lights installed. And so you can look down through one of the archways and see the stage down below where they're setting up for the Nutcracker. So I hope you've enjoyed your little walk through the attic here at the Paramount Theater. And hope you can all come and visit us one day, take in a show yourself. It is a great place.